Good morning, everybody. I just arrived to Singapore, Terminal 4 Changi Airport. I just had a very short flight, like a one hour flight from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I'm going back to Bali, but I have a six hour layover. And unfortunately, unfortunately, this is Terminal 4. So Terminal 4 is not like Terminal 1, 2, 3, as they are connected and as you can explore a lot uh, inside. Uh, it's just a small terminal and not much is to do over there. So it's a good idea if you have a more than three, four hours to go and explore something different. So in my occasion, I'm gonna go to Jewel. Also, another thing is, as if you are flying like a low cost airliner, especially AirAsia and Jetstar, especially particularly one, uh, it's worth to go out if you have a more than three hours layover. So if you wanna go to the city, you wanna have an MRT, you have to go to Terminal 3, if you wanna go to Jewel, everything, you have to take a, take a bus. I'm going to Jewel and Terminal 1, the bus is coming. So everything, this is free and it's very easy. Very easy to navigate and overall it's so easy. This is Singapore, but yeah, it's not like Terminal 1, 2, 3. You have to go out and uh, take a bus. And this is the situation inside the bus. Uh, actually, this bus is going to Terminal 3, to the trains, because the, always the bus to going to the Jewel is so packed. So I just skip this one and I'm going, I'm gonna show you a little bit more uh, because maybe perhaps you wanna go to the city so you will know how to get there. Welcome to the Terminal Trees. And I'm outside actually of the transit zone. So that's mean as I'm in Singapore another time. I've been already so many times and I think this is count again, right? This is the bus to Terminal 3, 4 and this is bus to terminal for the sign and this is the Changi airport and trains to the city the MRT and also there is the Starbucks in the corner this is like of course if you are flying departing so you can check in your uh, luggage but then there is the Starbucks and some Vietnamese cuisines and there is the uh, way to going to the jewel so you can explore a little bit and go to the jewel I, I definitely gonna go to the jewel you see and the sky trains to terminal one and two and the Crown Plaza Hotel. So this is, you know, all is uh, connected to each other. Of course, the each terminal have a storage luggage together, including the Jewel. Jewel is like a shopping mall open to public, but also considered as the Anover terminal. So you can leave it your bag or your shopping or your full luggage if you want. There's no problem. Prices start from $5 up to $20. Depends how heavy it is. If you have a backpack up to 10 kg, it's gonna be at $10. So then I came from th those directions. So bus to terminal four and train to the city probably i'm gonna go different uh, direction uh, d different way on the return so this is like a huge uh, sign board so uh, where the flights are going crown plaza hotel then you have a tunnel to the jewel and then you have a sky train to terminal one and two but on the outside zone not in the transit zone so basically this is the tunnel connecting terminal three with the jewel under the air condition so don't worry you can peacefully walk and explore also the train is going there and they have also the trade mill so we can walk faster. Everything is so organized here. And if you wonder how I know everything so well here, I've been in Singapore, especially Changi Airport so many times, and I'm probably Changi Airport I know better than my hometown in Poland for some reason, because I didn't been there for six years. And since then I've been like a 10 or 15 times here working around. So that's why I know it. And also if you're working like this, that's pretty cool view. There is the jewel already over there. This is the view, this is the tower jewel signs and the jewel itself is over over there as you see many people coming and making pictures in the stories it's pretty cool and the crown hotel is also here welcome to jewel also it's quieter than i was here last week i was last week on tuesday actually exactly i'm filming on tuesday uh, so the season of holidays is finished for some reason here as it's more cozy more enjoyable and the vortex is already there vortex is the waterfall inside basically to navigate that was the link uh, bridge to terminal 3 and you're going up to level 3 i'm gonna show you and tell you why on the way you have actually some very decent looking restaurants overlooking the waterfall inside the airport and the kids have something to do and they are nice shops. Everything is here actually. This this section is actually for kids uh, recently. And then you see this Mamma Mia restaurant. Ita very good tiramisu and coffee by the way. And then you have uh, the most beautiful spot to making pictures of the vortex uh, waterfall in Changi airport. Sometimes the train is passing by so it's even better shop. If you want to go to this glass bridge you have to buy the ticket. But this one is for free. And last time was so many people here making pictures, today I'm only, only me, so I have a perfect shot, ah, beautiful. I'm not Instagrammer, but yeah, perfect shot. Um, and still the uh, Marvel Avengers uh, exhibition is still here, I'm not a big fan of the Marvel, 
Uh, so yeah, but overall the everything, this is natural plant. So basically this is like a rainforest inside the building. Uh, Singapore is so famous for the stuff. And here we go. This is what I was waiting for, the train. You do take this train and see from inside. You have to go from Terminal 1 to Terminal 2, actually. Uh, that's also golden tip for you. Basically, I should have a lunch right now, but I'm gonna have a coffee and tiramisu, I think, in this place, because I remember it was so nice last time. Also, look at the menu over here. Uh, cappuccino costs you here only $4.50, and the desserts cost you only $5. Can you see this? Uh, what is the tiramisu? Classic tiramisu, five dollars, and also the uh, the other stuff, pasta. Uh, this is very affordable. Not mentioned. Let's look at this one. There is the, the the waterfall. This is prime location on Jewel. And of course, you have to make an order using the QR code. Everything is contactless. You don't talk to people that much anymore. This is uh, this is only good stuff. The hot cappuccino and the tiramisu. By the way, this tiramisu looks good. I gonna. Uh, maybe I'm not gonna show you how it looks inside, but it's really, really good and very moderate traffic, very moderate crowd, and of course the view. I, I, I never get bored with this view, by the way. All right, I changed my mind. I'm gonna show you this tiramisu is really, really nice. All right, I'm gonna tell you that was really decent coffee and cake. I'm gonna show you uh, other parts of the jewel, and then I'm gonna come back to the terminal four because uh, recently I was filming Terminal 1, Terminal 2, Terminal 3 inside if, when I was going with Winnie from the uh, Vietnam last time but Terminal 4 last time I was in 2019 so it's time to show you what's new and how it looks like over there and this is the second or first floor also you have a view of the waterfall and everything and there is the tunnel actually this is the bus to terminal 4 so i can go and that's i gonna do it but also over there there is a uh, terminal 1 and most of the international flights from the europe especially and from australia they will come to terminal 1 which is directly connected to the jewel basically i was making the opening of my previous video when i was in singapore a week ago just the the front of it because i was flying from terminal 1 because i was flying by scoot uh, so you see everything is so close and so easy and the jewel obviously and then you get inside and there is the beautiful view of the vortex uh, water, uh, waterfall and the huge apple store this is where i'm going before i'm gonna go to the transit zone as you see many people making the insta story and everything look at this one here we go and you might ask me yes i'm a little bit tired i was sleeping like a four hours last uh, last night and i'm traveling today like a 12 hours nearly so so yeah i'm a little bit tired also here is the huge flagship shop of the nike and there is the sketcher there was the Foot Locker, and this is the apple store so you can make all the shoppings and all of this stuff is uh, you can do the tax refund actually so everything is just in one one place you can do it in one two hours even if you are quick enough we'll need to spend like a four thousand dollars to upgrade all my video making gear like editing software the tablet the new camera the new phone and everything but you guys don't want to watch my videos anymore i feel so sad about that so i'm gonna go to terminal 4 right now and keep the quality how i have it i hope so you still enjoy by the way those guys are still here check this out what they are doing by the way so 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 interesting lah. also next to the food locker you have a well lady m but also the Starbucks and this is the reserve one in the airport that's cool one this is also the arrival hall uh, so you can just basically walk uh, just leave the uh, you know the baggage uh, the immigration and then you can just basically walk and come to the jewel just this is the first floor the grand floor actually you will also have a luggage storage and this is how's the example of how does it look like uh, yeah this is it they even have a dedicated disney store here check this out and the pokemon as well somewhere and in the basement uh, on the b1 b2 you have a food option there is even pole many many options and look at this one overlooking the waterfall but then it's already going down i never actually film here for some reason oh look at this one also nice but golden angle is the best mcdonald's but i wanted to go but it's so long queue here uh, but this place is actually very decent really always enjoying the time here all right 
right, and this is the Terminal 4. Been a while when I was here last time. Like I said, I was flying from Terminal 4 last time. Uh, few days before pandemic, before the global lockdown. So I have some sort of memories. Most of you guys probably have it. And well, they just opened recently uh, again operating. And I gonna tell you, it's a bit quiet here. This is uh, definitely the less crowded one. However, Terminal 2 is currently refurbished. This one feels slightly older as well. Uh, you still have a check-in counter, that's why Terminal 1 and Terminal 3 have self-check-ins. They also have it, but Terminal 3 is completely self-check-in. Uh, but yeah, this is it. However, AirAsia will never disappoint you. Everything is self-check-in. That's cool. I just need to print the ticket, actually. I have a more boarding pass already on the phone, but yeah, paper is paper. And this is Terminal 4 Transit. Of course, duty-free shops, all of the regular airport stuff. But in Singapore, there's, those shops are really decent. Uh, you can find literally everything. Terminal 1 and 2 and 3 is better, but uh, overall you can find everything, whatever you like. Uh, that was the, some of the food options and everything. I'm gonna show you a little bit around. Singaporean classic TWGT. Uh, that's the original genuine Singaporean brand. And yeah, cacao tree. This is maybe from chocolate. I have no space in my backpack actually to buy any chocolates today. That's pretty, pretty sad. And overall, very moderate uh, terminal. Not really much going on around. And the back, bacha coffee. This one is very nice. Very nice. And this is what the flights are coming from Terminal 4, as you can see, Asia, Jetstar. But uh, yeah, mostly Southeast Asian cities only, right? My flight is at 6.55. I have uh, three hours nearly. <clears throat> yeah, the sitting area arrangement. Also the view of Jetstars is also flying from here, by the way. Uh, but uh, yeah, Terminal Terminal 1 has the best view, by the way. But this one is still all right. Overall, plenty of sitting places, relax. All of the airports in Singapore, they have a carpet. This is very characteristic. If you go to Western countries, it's not like that. This cafe restaurant is something new. It looks new, totally new. But I think this terminal was closed for a while. Uh, so, so yeah. Tiger Den, Little Bar, W.A. Smith, of course. Upstairs is the uh, food court uh, with international food hall. So you will have an Asian Burger King for, oh, maybe Vietnamese today for, for lunch, dinner, why not? And Little Garden also, you know, regular, regular stuff. A little bit different arrangement than other terminals, that's for sure. Basically, they have a koi fishes uh, in the transit zone of the terminal. Uh, and little garden that's the all the plants are natural actually here and leave them one glass floor you can walk like this one it is the water uh, the, uh, down there uh, and yeah some shops you know regular there's the lounges also upstairs also if you're gonna go so far till the edge uh, there's the heritage zone um, it's really nice actually they make it in case if you cannot go to Chinatown or Jochan when I was last time in Singapore you can still explore and enjoy and uh, learn something on the transit zone terminal 4 surprisingly there's 7-eleven in the airport I think only terminal 4 have a 7-eleven by the way there's the food hall a little bit small not like terminal 3 obviously but I'm uh, gonna get some food you know that's the view of the terminal in general uh, the, I think it's the smallest terminal, by the way, Terminal 4. And this is the sofas where Winnie often likes to rest if she's flying with me. Uh, especially over there, the, the very, very nice one. And yeah. Uh, but this terminal, since I remember, actually never was so crowded. So actually even better because there is plenty of uh, spaces to sit. And that's the some foods what you can get here. Uh, here we go. Let's go one by one. Uh, I want to go something... Uh, look at this sweet cut. This is Winnie's favorite one. This one is actually really des decent looking. That's the foods overall. Very, very moderate traffic, crowds. Not much is going on. You can order from the self kiosk. Some mentor merchants have a kiosk. Some of them you have to order. I think I'm gonna order the Vietnamese today. Mm, credit card for Singaporean currency. And yeah, this is it. Actually, I think it was the Burger King at the co at the edge, but it's closed, right? It does not exist anymore, I guess. Hmm. 
it's gone it's gone forever and yeah this is it and you can see actually from transit zones are still the singapore this is where they this drop off or the bus gonna come one coffee bean is also in the bar over there, I think I mentioned already. So that's pretty, that's it. That's the comprehensive review of the Terminal 4 in Changi Airport. Oh, the Burger King is actually next to the 4. <laughs> it's just so tiny now, very small, but it is, exists. Gonna go with the 4 and this is the option and the prices. Gonna choose something and I'm gonna show you how does it look like. Here we go, my food arrived. This is the 4 and the chicken skewers and coke from <laughs> burger king because they don't sell drinks they don't sell coke particularly there's supposed to be a starbucks long time ago but it's gone so it's only coffee bean and leaf coffee bean leaf <laughs> uh, overall gonna have a coffee gonna rest maybe gonna edit the video what you are watching right now so i can have a, a easier day tomorrow morning so i can rest a little bit more actually uh, so yeah, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to see you tomorrow.